Okay, my friends, before we do anything, I want to explain to you that that is a photon. We did pulsed red laser through a Venturi. I'm going to show you all this in extreme detail shortly. What came out was white showers and black balls stayed on this side. Now, we took these pictures with, with a smartphone, with a cosmic ray detector app, basically, that showed these particles in this manner. Now, you will not see any anything whatsoever unless it's glowing. You see out here? This is dark matter. This is dark matter. I'm going to tell you right now, dark matter. It does not e emit, so we're not seeing anything. This is the glowy part. This is the electron neutrino. These are the muon neutrinos, which are, are also dark matter, I will say, and they are gravity. They pull the white ones in. We've never seen these before, ever because we are working with photons. This will glow and it'll grow up big like this and then it'll flip. That's why they, the muons spin. Then this one will come in front and it'll bang into the particles in front just like this is. You see it? Now I put this up six, at least six years ago. Light is dark energy while traveling from the sun to the earth. When these come out of the sun, they hit the earth just like this. This is a particle. And in the, in the, what they call a vacuum of space, it's completely saturated with these particles because the sunlight's coming down, just radiating on us intently. So it's, they're particles, it's saturated. They're not taking this into account whatsoever. We got a lot of work to do with, with what our atmosphere is like because these particles coat our atmosphere and they are scrubbing against the particles in the space that are coming at us so that is the interface which causes the 2700 degrees out there at the ionosphere because it's pushed to shove we're scrubbing against them all these particles trying to force into us and we're scrubbing that's what causes it. anyway we're going to get deep into this i just want you to understand i say that's dark matter and it causes dark energy, which is nothing but gravity. Dark energy is gravity, and it is also like a bowling ball. These things do not concuss. I mean, they do not compress. They concuss, and when they concuss, they concuss. And I'm going to show you nuclear bombs showing that the first particles that come out are only the white ones. They're only these glowy buggers. But they burn like crazy. They burn stuff. They don't knock it over. They just burn the hell out of it. And then a second later... The black ones show up, which are the bowling balls. Boom! Done. Case is closed when they show up. And then because the nucleus, which had blown it all away, just has black matter now there. All the white ones just got shot away. Everything turns around comes back. You'll see this uno momento, mes me. And just so you understand, this is extremely valid. Cosmic ray detectors pick up extremely brilliant particles and that's all we can see is the brilliant ones other other than that it's totally black because they, they are radiating they are emitting they are just like if you looked two miles away to try to see an atomic bomb that was sitting on the tarmac the size of a school bus you wouldn't see it you couldn't see it 10 miles away 50 miles away you couldn't see it but when it went off you couldn't miss it and that's what we're seeing is the particles going off basically and because of that we can see the dark matter has separated and this is completely valid because this is they're the muons this is the cosmic ray detectors this goes back seven years ago and this is what we were doing at that time the apps basically transform the phone into a high energy particle detector that's what i'm showing you is high energy particles it uses the same principles as very large experiments, exact same principles. Cosmic rays are energetic, sub, which is lower than atomic size particles, yes. Scientists don't know exactly what they are. When the particles crash into Earth's atmosphere, they create showers of secondary particles called muons. They're looking up into the sky and seeing them with cell phones. We're going right on top of it, seeing it lit up like, like a city. One more time. We can see these with cosmic ray detectors, which is exactly what we're using. And we're looking for muons, and the black ball is the muon. And we're seeing light accelerate, not supposed to happen. We did it. That's light accelerating. 
light divide here, this is called fission. It came back to here, together here, that's called fusion. In here is literally a nuclear reaction. It's a subatomic explosion. It's a division of those particles. And that is exactly what CERN and Fermilab would like to see, but have not been able to achieve on a consistent basis. They saw six of these particles, something like that, and we're just excited as hell. <laughs> we got them just coming out of our ears. Muon neutrinos, electron neutrinos. They only get it when they bump into it, things by accident. We force them, and the only ones that can get through the slit is the white ones. Because here's the deal. The white, I showed you before, the, the black ball is just a black ball. It's not going to change. When it hits here, if the slit is too small, it hits here, it can't get through. But the white ones in front of it, they get all excited like this, but then they can squirt right through there. And this one goes bam, 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 bam. And it shoots them through there. It's just like a, like a jackhammer. And all of the white ones can squirt through. And that's what happens, as you see. The black ones can't make it. Sterile neutrinos, fission, fusion, raw electrons. These will burn. What do you see it burn these houses? Okay, my friends, Roger goes nuclear. <laughs> Now, what am I talking about? I, the last video I did, I showed the dark matter that exists inside the core of an atomic bomb. And it originally strips off all the electrons, and then it's just got dark matter in the center. And they want the electrons back so bad that everything turns around and goes backwards. So, so it's going to go out, and then it's going to come back. Watch. This is the initial blast just instantly after it goes off uh, the atomic bomb it's over this way somewhere it, it's coming straight down this way this is, this is shaded but it's basically right in line with this hitting this head on now watch what happens and i will try to explain what's going on here it goes boom now i'm stopping this as it goes instantly it basically burns this Oh, now, watch these wires. These wires are going to vaporize as well. You see it? It just turns that into smoke. Everything here is vaporizing. The wires are cooking. See it? Boom. Now, okay, so what are we seeing now? We're seeing a blast of not just electrons. This part has both electrons and the dark matter with it because it appears that the dark matter is the heavy part and that's the concussive part originally with the first thing to hit it was a raw electrons and i'm going to explain it to you how that breaks down now watch what happens it's hitting i mean now it's just pushing everything and then it'll all turn around and come back why would that happen boom it goes out look at it. it's just destroying everything now it's turning around it's coming back Why would that happen? Here's another one. It starts cooking just electrons, just electrons, no real force, just electrons, just push. Now, all of a sudden, wham, we're going to get, there's the big boys. This is when you get the dark and dark matter, really. is by Basically, I think the dark matter is the pushy part, but it's got to be attached to electrons. The first set of electrons that came out had no dark matter with it whatsoever. Look, see again? It's just cooking it. Raw electrons. Raw, raw, raw electrons. And then all of a sudden, boom! There it goes. That's the heavy-duty stuff. And now it comes back because it says, Hey, where would all of my electrons go? I want them back. Bring them back. And that's what happens. All right, this is my simulation of an atomic bomb, and it's just so packed with particles, they don't want to be next to each other, they just want to get crazy and get away from each other. So it really, it's overheated, and it's breaking down, and it's decaying as it just sits there. Now, once we force it to compress so hard that every one of these guys does not want to be next to each other, so it just like springs out like like just springs on steroids and boom they go and they're electrons so they can actually just leave they leave I showed the white can separate from the dark no question and what happens when it does this is what happens this is that same core 
only this time it explodes, everybody leaves, and the dark matter just stays right where it was. The dark matter does not react. It doesn't concuss, it doesn't uh, emit, it doesn't absorb, it doesn't do anything. So now it's sitting here saying, where's my electrons? These just went flying every different direction and cooking everything around it. And then parts of the dark matter went with it, the last remainder, and then it pushed everything out. And now it says, I don't have any electrons at all. <sighs> they come back. That's what we just saw. That's what an atomic bomb does. Okay, this I did the other day. This is Professor Simon put up a, a, a video about asking about this ripple effect that preceded what they consider to be the shock wave. Well, way out here is where the electrons are leaving. See, the electrons are leaving. This is the initial blast, and all of the white stuff is going away. Now watch. This is when all the white stuff left. Something about this interaction. These spikes are literally electrons, and they're flowing to ground, basically, because the ground wants everything. That's why it's sucking them down through these wires. Other than that, it's going into an expansive circle. Now, let's watch this explode as it does, because it creates a, a shock wave which is way out in front of this shock wave. They always thought this was a shock wave. It is not. There's a shock wave way out in front because this is the leading edge of the electrons. And electrons hold sway over enormous regions ahead of them. The electron itself, the particle, is here. The sway of influence is way out here. I wish now, I just want to explain one thing to you right now so you fully, totally understand it. When we originally had the core. It was a gigantic ball of very tightly packed particles. We crushed them. All the fields of the white ones, which are the only ones that react, the black ones couldn't care less about being on top of each other. We could smash them together. They, they're happy with that. No big deal. They're just going to stay right there. Well, the white ones say, hell no, you're not going to get next to me. Pew! And they take off, and they take off so fast that they leave, and they don't come back. And that is what burns down the buildings. And then, as all of those have gone, they'll start to, some of them will come back, come out with this. Both of them at the same time, and bam, that's when the buildings go over. And then, this just stays black, and it says, hey, where'd you guys go? You can get back here. And they come back. Watch. We'll show you. Here it goes. First, you get the fireball, then it goes oh. dark. Okay, all the white ones are gone. The white ones are gone, and they are going to go burn those buildings. Now you have the dark modeled effect where some of this kind of stuff is still getting out of here. But the white ones are already burning down the buildings. These are on their way to follow them to knock the buildings down. The other ones just burn the buildings. Why would that happen? You get the fireball. Here's our little spikes. We know about those. Forget about them. It would, why did it go dark? No more electrons. Who can explain that? I can. Now watch this. When it becomes opaque, masked by the shock wave, and then the shock wave... He's saying it's masked by the shock wave. We'll discuss that in a minute. It's not, it could. It's not masked by the shock wave. It is just... It doesn't have any electrons left. Sorry, Do Professor uh, Simon. And roof. Boom, it goes back. All right, so it, it went off, then it went down to black, and then it came back up again. Let's follow that through one more time. This is really... Now, the second time it comes out, it's not coming out just electrons. It's coming out as particles. They're, they're very brilliant still, but they're complete particles. They just don't have that initial blast that was just nothing but electrons. Really critical you understand the sequence of events. All right, here it is. Boom, she goes off. And they're measuring temperatures on the surface, and they're seeing these, these effects on the surface, which are not white, they're not black, they're screwy. They're trying to separate at this point. Look and watch. It cools down, does the actual fireball of the bomb become visible? So at first you get fireball then it goes dark when it becomes opaque mass now you see that just look at it for an extra second or two 
I believe this this basically right there, I, I think, is the, the really solid central core of dark matter. And then you get a little sort of, not 100% dark matter here. And then it sort of goes out into your, well, you saw what happened in the beginning. See, is there anything we can see? There seems to be some kind of a border in there. I'm not sure what that's about. And why is there a black spot there? And why are these white looking sticking out of the black? We know these were electrons trying to get to Earth. All right, this, I'm getting a little repetitive here, the, which I always do. Um, but what happens is it's, it explodes and you have this is the visible shock wave. Well, we have an invisible shock wave out here, which is those electrons. They just don't know it. Here, they still have the black and the white together. Out here, they're nothing but the white. There is no black attached to them whatsoever. And they're headed off to burn down buildings. And not burn them down, but just burn them up. All right, and this is what they couldn't understand, was why this, see the smoke trails go up there, choo, choo, choo. When this goes off, they think there was a leading shock wave here. But they're seeing way up here, there's a ripple way out in front of it, and they can't understand it. And he says, if you understand it, tell Lawrence Livermore, because they don't understand it. Watch. There's my buddy here. He's going to say add in five seconds. Here, hold on. Okay, Professor Simon says these they, they have no clue about these and they want to know why they're seeing these ripples. And this is Lawrence Livermore. Now, listen. Lawrence Livermore. What causes it? What exactly causes the mysterious wiggle? If you know, tell Lawrence Livermore because the truth is out there. Yeah, and they they... They don't understand that ripple is that electron pulse, of just 100% electrons. They're just a white matter. And they have just literally no mass to them whatsoever. I was very, very surprised. I thought they had a lot of mass. But the one that has the mass is the dark matter. That sucker there is heavy and it just does not compress. The white one, as I showed you, compresses and does all that stuff.